Time for a little uh, recap video, I guess. You're not a YouTuber unless you do one, right? Like I can fucking talk. <laughs> yeah, this year's been pretty interesting. Like I couldn't have asked for a more interesting year. Like I've been to so many different places. I've met so many new people, done so much stuff, failed in a lot of different things, tried so many new and different things like YouTube. This is completely different. Did I really get to do everything that I wanted to do this year? Technically, no. Like I thought I'd be making more YouTube videos, but then again, um, I really can't compare myself to Mike, Liam and Hayden. Like they're just on a whole different level because they've committed to YouTube full time and that's fine. And I think I'm just on a very different stage to them in terms of my uh, career, creative career. Is that how you meant to say it? For this year, I focused a lot more on actually the process and creating and trying to evoke emotions in my photography and in my work. I've sort of treated it as more of a pure art form instead of just looking at it as like a sort of a business in a sense or as a way to um, make income off of it. So I think that's been my main focus for this year and I'm glad that I tried it out and I'll still continue to learn um, throughout the following years. But apart from that, like it doesn't really put me down or anything that I haven't made any more YouTube videos. It just means that I'm not the best at it, which is fine. And I'll just continue to grow and do better in different things. So it doesn't really fuss me that much. Like a lot of you guys already know that I do go to uni and that I have taken this semester off to focus more on creative work. And I've learned so much more about myself during this half of the year. And it's been pretty insane. But with that being said, I am going back to uni next year. And that's gonna be a very interesting dynamic. And it's gonna be definitely very challenging for me because although engineering is still a passion of mine, it's really, really difficult. It's gonna be really difficult trying to balance both photography, YouTube, and uni at the same time. And the truth is I do wanna put uni as the first priority because at the end of the day, it still matters to me a lot. That means I have to give something up. And I think the one thing, and with uni being the first priority again, what I've learned the most throughout this year is committing to your values and committing to what you deem is necessary and what matters and not caring about the rest or not necessarily not caring about the rest but placing less emphasis on the things that really don't matter and with that being said i need to focus a lot more on uni and not put myself in a place where i'm constantly in two different mindsets because i found that during the first half of this year was i was in two different mindsets i was doing uni on the side and i was also doing photography and what I started to do was I started treating photography as a main priority and I sort of just like left uni aside and I didn't do very well at uni and that's not something that I want to do in the future and the main reason why I'm making this video in the first place is to really hold myself accountable so the idea is I can come back and watch this video whenever I want to whenever I feel demotivated or anything just to know that hey everything's okay and that uni is your first priority again and photography, YouTube, everything else will be put to the side and that's okay and you just have to focus on one thing at a time and these are still things I'm just saying to myself like obviously it's awesome you know being able to give you guys advice and stuff but at the end of the day I'm still learning I'm still growing so this is more of a video to myself and to really push myself and to um, make sure that I actually do the things that I want to actually do so I do want to put uni as um, a first priority focus on that more but that doesn't mean I'm not going to disappear from YouTube or photography like I'll definitely continue posting on Instagram I love photography YouTube is a bit different because I do enjoy talking in front of a camera from time to time but I don't really like being center of attention that much and I think in terms of YouTube I'll probably be here every once in a while but I'll probably still make videos who knows in the future so if there's one thing to take away from this is that everyone's still learning and growing and I think for me it's more important if I focus on one thing at a time and not split myself up too much. So the quote of the day since you guys haven't been writing in the comments is from my past actually it's been what was it? I mean, nearly two years now since I wrote this quote but it was on one of my Instagram captions ages ago and it still holds a lot of value to me to this day because I think a lot of people can apply and use in their lives and that is learn from the past focus on the present and plan for the future so learn from the past means learn from your mistakes so 
whenever you fail or make a mistake, you can always pick up some sort of valuable information from that. And then focusing on the present is really important because you want to be grateful for the things that you've done and be happy and content with where you are at the moment, which is always really good. And then, and then plan for the future means you can make small incremental steps in terms of what you want to do and what you want to achieve and apply them so that you can reach a future destination or something in the future. Yeah, so once again, thank you for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed 2019 and I'm keen to see you guys next year in 2020.